My dad has mailed me double dogs for Christmas as Christmas presents. So interesting. I know it's not about you. <laughs> <laughs> When you don't have an idea for an intro, you just flip each other off. My dad hates that we flip each other off. <laughs> hey, well <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to the idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You follow us on Instagram and Twitter for uh, uh, more juicy content. So oh, juicy. Hi, Ashley. Wrong kind of juicy. And we're just on Patreon and follow official Twitter account. I did it backwards. Today, we are reacting to a, a, a video from uh, Ra Rajiv Mas Masand. Probably say his name wrong. It was the guy who did the the Bollywood Roundtable interview. But look at you. Yeah. You've gotten so bold with your Hindi pronunciations that you're taking on names. I still don't like the names. Yeah, but you're doing uh, it. But you used to never do names. This is he just put out this list. It's his ten best Hindi films of the past oh, decade. Oh, we'll be the judge of that. I'm sure there's a bunch we haven't seen. I'm hoping there's some we have seen. Um, it's the ten best Hindi films of the past decade. Yeah, his. Okay. His uh, ten so, best. So, but and so, as this goes on, please let us know what your list is and where we should if his list is correct and we should start with some of these yep because we would like to see we would if, like to see the best, the best, best yeah of the best i just did a list of my best 10 of the past decade there were two handy films in it oh you mean just total yeah if i if i were to take and, and, uh gangs in there if i were to take that's a great idea take like the 10 best films of the past decade I would absolutely I did, include a I couple did, of I did favorites, not, films. Not, not best. I did my favorites of the past decade. Okay. Uh, my favorite, I think, was, I think I put Mad Max. Fury Road? Yeah. Of the that past, was, of the past your, decade? I need to go back and it's look at that. It's such a good film. Oh, it's a fantastic film. Yeah. Fantastic but film. Technically, I also had Harry Potter in there because the last one came out in 2011. Did Birdman make your list? Yes. That was, yeah. I, oh, Birdman was number one, sorry. Mad Max was two. Okay, I was going to say, how did you, you, you put Mad no, Max yeah. in front of Birdman? I, 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 I did. I okay. Not everybody will like Birdman. No, but you really, if, it helps. You're, if you're an actor, if you're an actor, you just love watching acting, you're going to love it. Here we go. Sorry. How do you make a list of the 10 best Hindi films of the last 10 years? You get them. You just take a piece of paper and you write. I figured it might be easier to pick the 10 Hindi films that I most loved in this last decade. Yeah. It had to be personal choices. Yeah. Films that meant something to me. Because frankly, what I remember is how a film made me feel. I might not remember a lot about the film even, but what I do remember is exactly. how it made me feel. And when you saw it So my life. list of the 10 best Hindi films from 2010 to 2019 is actually a list of my favorite films from the last decade. Now, I noticed that more recent titles, current titles from the last two years didn't make the cut. I think it's because one needs some distance, um, some time away from a film to understand how deeply one cares for the film. I agree. I don't. But enough small talk. Here's a it's list Joker of my honest. top ten Hindi films oh, of the last decade. Is, the yeah. best Hindi films. No, but there's a, there's an aspect of that that's true. Yeah, <laughs> like it's, 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 yeah. it's clearly not definitive. But yeah, you, you realize how one wants to with you. Aankh 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 which one? The beauty of this film Aankh Aankh is written and written. Aankh Aankh I haven't even heard of that. Yep. How seamlessly it Should marries. Should we watch the trailer? Yes, you have, Corbin. I've sent you. Musical. Sanjay Mishra was extraordinary as Bauji. The patriarch of a middle class joint. Okay, I hope he doesn't give us spoilers. No, I don't he think will you, only he would. believe what he can see with his eyes. It leads to rifts within the family, Do we know frustration for his wife, played by an excellent Seema Pahwa, and many comical scenarios, including one where Bao has some of those people to confirm mm. with his own eyes that tigers do indeed roar. Okay, he's telling me I too much about the Let us know about that, please. The words that this film creates because it's so authentic and because there's tenderness and affection even in the most bizarre situations. I recognize him. At number nine, Titli. Now, I'm not I've a heard of that. violence I've heard and brutality on screen, but it's used to such great effect in this film. Oh, I'm a I fan of violence and brutality on screen. Titli, which is directed by Kanu Bell, is about Where a family, a family of three brothers and an aging father. They're a poor family that lives in a squalid home in East Delhi, and they're violent criminals. It's what they do to get by. Nice. The film is about the circle of violence. It's about wanting to break away and escape one's destiny. Ranveer Shori, mm. who plays the oldest of the three brothers, it sounds cool is extraordinary me. in the film, and he's horrifying. I don't want to give away too much for those that might not have watched the film, but Thank I you. remember coming away from the film feeling truly rattled. 
Let the movie tell the story. At number eight, ugly. Uh, yep. And I this got is a We know. Which this one, the deepest, darkest. Yes, was ugly first side and of everyone in, in India for like ten years. Parents, who are so desperate to find. It doesn't surprise me considering what we know about Kashyap's him. Most cynical he pushes film, the edge. But it's also one of his best. I remember watching yeah, this film I, and feeling sick to the stomach. Because it holds up a mirror. We've gotten a lot. The minute we, the minute we touched his work. And bombarded with, you gotta watch ugly, you gotta watch in ugly. In fact, every time we talk about him, you gotta watch ugly. Kulkar hey! Yeah. Coolly and curiously quizzes the girl's actor father about how a smartphone works, while the increasingly desperate father just wishes that the cop would focus on finding the girl. It's pure genius. We know that voice. At number seven, A Death in the Gunge. I've realized I'm a sucker for films with strong atmospherics. This one, Death in the Gun? I haven't even heard of that. Is so detailed and so sharply written, you feel like a fly on the wall just observing this group of friends hanging out at a home in Makluski Ganj in the 70s. It's got a terrific mm, ensemble of actors, but the standout is Vikrant Massey as Shutu, the quiet boy who's filled with sadness. He's so good in the role, you want to reach out, put your arm around him and protect him. The film itself is extremely perceptive about human nature. Let us know. At number six, Queen. What a glorious celebration of life this film was. It starts, of course, as the story of we this know that woman one. Yep. whose fiance dumps her on the eve of their marriage. Enjoyed that and one a lot. She decides to go off on her honeymoon herself. She was wonderful. But it's about finding one's happiness. That was great. It's about yeah, I love that scene. It's a, this is one of those ones that was really accessible to a Western in this audience. Absolutely. You could absolutely man. recommend this one. Of course, one. the film is held together by Kangana Ranaut, who's fantastic in it. And it's got crackling dialogue, which the actress herself co wrote. <laughs> She was so good in this. <laughs> At number five, Kapoor and Sons. Ah, oh, I remember I the trailer. Remember we loved the trailer. Yeah. That captured the push also, and, pull I know. and the frequently I think awkward it had mixed rhythms of family. A lot of people really loved it. More honestly mm, than this one. But Shakun Bhatra revealed everything. The resentment, seen, so don't know. the regrets, the shattered dreams, the hopes simmering under the surface when two grown-up sons return home to their family in Kunur for what they think is an emergency. The film is slim on plot but high on feeling. I, I really like how he's articulating it, things. With a lump in the throat but also a smile because in that family and in those moments, it's impossible not to catch glimpses of one's own. I like this guy a lot. Ooh. At number four, The Lunchbox. Yeah! A little low. Yeah, I was going to say, that's only number four. But granted, we haven't seen all these films. And it's his personals. Shibatra's film about the relationship that forms between a housewife and a middle-aged man at the cusp of retirement was beautifully realized. Beautiful. It's also one of those films that uses food so interestingly in its plot. It's also an intrinsically Mumbai film with the concept of Dabba Walas. And of course, we learned about them. of trains, local trains. Nimrat Kaur was a great find, a great discovery, and Irfan Khan, as always, was pitch perfect. Yep, always. And Nawazan and Siddiqui. And I love, remember how this simple the directing was? At number three, Masan. Set in Varnasi, yep. this incredible film directed by Neeraj Bhairan. have seen it, but about I've love heard and especially lots loss, of good things. Features two parallel storylines that are so deeply affecting, I remember coming away from the film with a very heavy heart. There's a scene in the film in which Richa Chadda's character, Devi, is busted along with her lover by cops who barge into their hotel room. A police officer asks Devi why she went into that hotel room, why she had that sexual encounter. She replies without any pretense, jigyasa, meaning curiosity. It's one of the most honest moments in any film. Hmm. Masan also has the single best I line of dialogue in film. any Hindi film in the last decade. When his romance, his relationship with a girl who belongs to an upper caste ends tragically, Vicky Kaushal, who plays a lower caste dom, asks in a moment oh, of Vicky unbearable Kershaw, sadness. That's right, that's right. Ye dukh kahe khatam nahi hota hai de, and your heart shatters into a thousand pieces. Then there is that music. At number two, Piku. 
This film, to me, feels like a warm Which blanket. Which was in my top ten. It generally 10. represents the coziness and the comfort of a warm blanket. Mm. Despite being this screaming match, this loud screaming match between cantankerous father and irritable daughter for the most part, there's a beautiful, unspoken warmth in the film. Agreed. All three performances were incredible, but the one that I remember stayed with me was Deepika Padukone. Deepika, Pankers. that's the one I said. So much of what she's I realized seen she's a much better person. actress than I gave her credit she's for. Performing at the top of at her the top game, of her game, alongside with legends. Khan and Amitabh Bachchan, who are both so good. Come on. Beautiful movie. And at number one, Uran. I didn't have one moment of doubt yep. about what for me was the best Hindi no. film of the last ten We've years. We've read to the trailer. On the surface, Uran is a Doom first three. about the coming of age of a young motherless boy Shut up. with an abusive father and a half brother he didn't know he had. But that's such a limiting description. We get we get this recommended Uran to us all the time. All the time. about finding oneself. About finding. And those who've been habits. recommending it are like, Uran yeah, see, we told you. Following idiots. one's heart. It's about breaking the shackles and about escaping the life that has been laid out for you. Directed by Vikramaditya Motwani, the biggest strength of this film is its transportive quality. It places you right there in Jamshedpur, where 17-year-old Rohan, played by Rajat Barmecha, who has the most expressive face ever, is struggling with his fate. This film is incredible both for its craft and the feeling that Motwani puts into every single scene and every single moment. I remember the scene in which Ronit Roy, playing the cruel father, burns his son's book. No, 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 no. Even let the movie later, tell the story. Okay. The hits me in the feels every right. single time. He's good. I don't know what you said, but we didn't want it. Whatever it was, we didn't want it. <laughs> so there, those were what I thought were the ten best Hindi films of the last decade, from 2010 to 2019. There were many other films that one remembers with great affection, but I promised you a list of ten. Thank you for watching. Yeah, uh, there's what? There's two in there that we've seen. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're getting there. Well, granted, this is also his opinion. Exactly. Uh, and he's he's obviously been watching these films for the past ten years, and we've just surpassed. I think we're right at sixty. Yeah, we're. Yeah, so we're. <laughs> We're still babies, uh, but uh, this actually seems pretty accurate uh, in terms of we get Udan a lot, mm -hmm. uh, ugly a lot, a lot. Uh, basically, any on your own Kashyap film, anything we've done and talked about him and anything we do a round table and he's in and everyone says you got to watch Ugly. Yeah, uh, it, and I want to, and we will, we will. So don't worry. Um, but yeah, the uh, <laughs> I did. I, I agree with Lunchbox. No, we've seen three because Lunchbox, Piku, and Queen, and Queen. Yeah, we saw Queen as well. Interesting. Uh, All three of those films would fall into the same kind of feel in terms of relatability, accessibility to a, an American or Western mind. Maybe that's what he likes. Maybe yeah, his, maybe his so. He likes films. that kind of universal appeal. It would appeal to people from a myriad of different cultures, not just mm -hmm. an Indian audience. We should do a list of um, most accessible. Like well, maybe once we. Watch a few more. Most accessible films for like two, top five films you should recommend to your American friend. We we, we could do a top ten with that. Yeah, we should do that. Yeah, because well, I've got as you know I we get messages from people who have said I remember the most recent one I got was having guests over for dinner. Uh, they live here in the states and they're having American friends over. And we want to introduce them to an Indian film. They've never seen an Indian film. What do you recommend? Mm -hmm. I think if we did a top ten, like the top ten best Indian films to recommend to an American, I yeah, be a good resource for the stupid family. Yeah, nah, well, let us know if you'd like to see that, and yeah. also let us know your top ten: Doom Three, War, uh, Kalank, Thugs of Hiroshima. Yeah. <laughs>